Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top lip products of 2018. You guys, of course I'm so excited to get started. I always am. I love talking about lip products in particular, so it was really, really difficult to narrow this down. I do have 10 right here that I think are just outstanding. They're amazing. And these are the products I was personally grabbing for as well during the year. That being said, if there's anything that I hauled or any haul update or anything like that in a favorites video that I did have a lip product in and I said I liked it, but it's not in this video, I still like those products. Products, of course it's just that these are kind of like the absolute best these are the ones that I really can't live without so let's get on and get started so the first product is something that I was super excited to try out this year this is from NARS and this is the velvet lip glides so I have two in my collection the first one is bound and the second one is stripped these are really really nice and smooth like they're very unique, I think. These lip products are super beautiful. They're so smooth, really pigmented. They give you that really nice hydrated, like glossy look kind of appearance to your lips. They're so, so nice. And I honestly think that these two shades are amazing. I'm always looking for new shades in this formula. I'm just so impressed with them. When NARS first released these, I think these were in like the original lineup. And then they've recently added some more like neutral and roses and things like that in this line. So I'm hoping to check out more of these because I love them and the shades are right here so we have bound which is on the left and we have stripped which is on the right so stripped of course is much more of an everyday like nude and bound has a little bit more of that like mauvey roseness to it so really really nice I love both of them and this is definitely the first one that is making my list this year so I recently did a collaboration with my friend Mel Thompson here on YouTube we both did our top two and bottom two favorite Favorite products from our favorite brands so there's no surprise with these next couple because they were also in that video the first one is from Chanel this is the rouge cocoa gloss in particular this is the shade I've been loving this is number 716 caramel and this is the gloss I've probably used the most throughout the year it's so easy to wear it's so easy to apply and to use and this one is a gorgeous like neutral color. So as you can see there, super, super pretty. Like I think this is something that is one of the best products Chanel has done. So if you haven't checked out their lip glosses, you really should. They're not sticky and they just wear longer than I actually think a gloss would. Like they wear quite a long time. So I love that. And of course, a lot of these shades are super flattering. The next part that was also in that video is also a lipstick. And this is from Tom Ford. This is his lip color line. I have Sable Smoke as my shades and Indian Rose. Both of these, you guys, are so nice. A beautiful finish to the lips. It's really nice and pigmented. They're creamy, they're comfortable, very moisturizing. I love this as well. So it's got that gorgeous like creamy finish. This isn't a matte lipstick at all. It's not gonna dry down and feel gritty or anything. This is just so, so pretty. So of course we have Sable Smoke on the left and Indian Rose on the right. Both of these colors are super nice and universal. And what you will start to notice in this video is that a lot of these are going to be like neutral, nude type shades because these are the shades that I typically wear day in and day out. I do have some favorites that are bold colors and things like that, but they're often in these same formulas. So I just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> so anyways, these Tom Ford ones, you guys, I absolutely think are worth the money. I have held myself back from getting more shades in these because I am a nude lipstick lover. I do have a lot of nudes in my collection and the Tom Ford ones definitely have a luxury price tag. So I try to remember that. Like I have a lot of other nudes, Jenna, just kind of chill out but these are super pretty speaking of matte lipsticks there are a few in my collection that I actually really do enjoy I do find that if the lipstick is too matte and almost gritty I don't like them <laughs> they're just too much I'm not one to lather my lips with lip balm and then go for it with a matte lipstick I just think it's an extra step that I don't typically do maybe that'll change in the future when I have found something that's just worth the extra effort I don't know but for now I typically grab like the creamy lipsticks the ones I don't have to prep my lips for too too much but I do have a couple matte formulas that I don't have to prep my lips for and I really do enjoy them the first one is from Pat McGrath this is the matte trance lipstick line I have two the first one is 1995 the second one is Omi there is a few other shades in this collection that I do want as well but 
Again, I'm holding myself back because Pat McGrath also has a luxury price tag, but these are so pretty. And I've recently picked up one of her Lux Trans lipsticks, but I haven't put it to the test like enough to include it in my list for this year. So maybe next year it'll be in that list. But the packaging of this, you guys, is gorgeous. I think it's just very Pat McGrath. It's very different, very, what's the word? Like, it's just unique, different, but really still elegant and still pretty. And here are the shades as well. So we have 1995 on the left and Omi on the right. These are super pretty. Again, definitely in like the nude, rosy kind of pink category, which is my sweet spot just as a makeup lover. And these are definitely one of the creamiest, like comfortable matte formulas that I have ever used. So I love that for this. I think that she has a lot of other shades that I'm like itching to check out. So super excited about that. Speaking of matte formulas, I do have one other one that's in my top list this year that I think is just beyond amazing. It doesn't even feel like a matte formula to me, even though it is a matte formula, but it doesn't feel like that. It's not drying, it's not gritty, it doesn't feel weird on the lips. This is the Matte Revolution line from Charlotte Tilbury. So I have quite a few of these, ranging from nudes to bold colors. I love this line. The one that I just picked up is called Bond Girl, and this is a gorgeous, I'm pretty sure this is also in like the nude family. So it looks like this, and this one is, again, super, super nice. It's more of a bolder color for every day, but I do really, really love this shade as well. I have so many shades of this, you guys. Like, this is just, I don't even think these are all of them, but I have five right here. <laughs> so I'm thinking about doing like a Charlotte Tilbury collection or like a lip product collection or one of each or something like that. Let me know down below what you think of that idea because I have a very extensive collection of her brand. I just realized that. Anyways, I absolutely love this formula too. I think you can't go wrong with getting a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. The Matte Revolution is a standout. Also, her kissing line is also a standout. But I really, really do think that this is a comfortable matte. You do have that matte appearance without that matte feeling, and that's what I absolutely love. So this is definitely one that is absolutely worth the money. The next item that has made my list this year is a lip gloss, and this is one that actually surprised me a little bit. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. There are a decent number of shades in this line. I think it's like six or seven, so it could be expanded for sure. I really hope that they do. This is the Bite French Press Lip Gloss. These smell like coffee. They are amazing. The shade that I have is Dirty Chai, and I really do want to check out the other ones. I think I had my eye on Flat White as well, but I wasn't sure if that one was going to like wash me out because it might look a little light on me. But this is what it looks like. I'm just swatching it on my hand. So pretty. On me, it's like gorgeous. It's got a little bit of that like caramel, like pinky brownness to it. It's just so, so pretty. This is probably like medium pigmentation, I would say. So not a full coverage at all, but this can be layered. This wears quite a while. I just, I love these. These are definitely a showstopper of the year. The next product that has made my list this year is actually a very unique product. I think anyways, I was really excited to see Too Faced do this this year. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This is so nice, you guys. I can't even stress this enough. It actually does feel like oil. Like it's very creamy with like that oily like aspect to it, but it's not greasy like an oil or like slippery like an oil. It just feels that moisturizingness of an oil product with like the, you know, the kind of glossy finish of a lip gloss. And I would say as well, this is a couple swipes here. This is Papa Don't Peach. And this is one that is like, again, I would say medium coverage for sure. This one doesn't last a super long time on me, but I do love wearing it when I feel like my lips are a little bit drier. This is so, so good. You guys know when I say that, it's bomb. <laughs> So this is really good. Anyways, Papa Don't Peach is a great color. Definitely check these out if you're interested. While we're on the note of Too Faced, there's one other lip product that I think is definitely something worth checking out that is a highlight from last year. This is the Natural Nudes Lipsticks. I have three of these. These are what they look like, you guys. I'm just kind of gonna hold them out for you. Look how pretty the packaging is. It's like gorgeous lace. So this is Natural Nudes, and of course it's a line of nude products. Very creamy, 
very pigmented, all nudes. So I love that. The shade that I'm wearing today is this one. This is Pout About It. And this is a gorgeous shade, you guys. I love the packaging of this. I think that Too Faced did a great job. They're not like luxury luxury like Tom Ford, but they're not drugstore either. So you can definitely treat yourself to one of these, not feel like you've broken the bank necessarily. So I love that. And the other shades I have, I'm just swatching them on my hand here. The other shades I have are right here. We have birthday suit on the left, skinny dip in in the middle, and then pout about it on the right. So these are super pretty. And again, I have a vi wide variety of them, I feel like. Birthday suit is much more of like a pink and then skinny dipping is much more of a beige and Pout About It is got like the pinky berryness to it. So this is a really good line. I feel like a lot of them will work for a lot of different skin tones as well. I don't think that they'll, they're super light or they're super deep. I think they're just, they've got a good range that way. So this is definitely one, a highlight of 2018. I think these were released in 2018 as well if my memory has served me right. I think these are stunning. We are down to my last two products of the year. I'm so excited. They're both from Hourglass. These two are right up my alley when it comes to shade range, to finish, texture, pigmentation, everything. The first one is the Hourglass Girl Lip Stilos. These are stunning, you guys. These are basically like, you know, grown up crayons. They're gorgeous. They have the beautiful like deep brown hourglass packaging. They're weighty in the hand. So I actually have four of them here, you guys. I'm definitely addicted to these. <laughs> so the shades from left to right are Inventor, which is on the far left. Then we have Activist. Then we have Idealist. And lastly, we have Influencer. So all of these are super pretty. Of course, the one on the far left is a little bit more bold. And then we have the other three that are a little bit more on the nude end. I love them. I love that they're kind of like a crayon or like a pen. So it kind of makes sense with their name, of course. Like all of the branding is very cohesive and makes a lot of sense. But I love these. They're creamy. They're pigmented. Again, I feel like a lot of my favorites are along this same thread. Pigmentation, but something that I can feel comfortable wearing, something that I can feel like myself and nothing too high maintenance. So these Girl Lip Stilos are amazing and there's a lot of shades in these, you guys. So definitely another highlight in this year's collection. Okay, we are on to the last product. This also, I believe, made my top two, bottom two video with Mel, where I did talk about Hourglass, and you guys will probably be not surprised at this one. This is the Confession Lipstick. This is nice, oh my goodness. So, so good, of course. I feel like this packaging of this is amazing. The shade that I have right now is I've Never. I do have another one, you guys, somewhere, and I'm so mad because I lost it. I for sure have two, and I can't find it. So that means I'm gonna have to do some serious organizing of my makeup collection because it desperately needs to be organized. Like, it's all shoved back in my Alex drawers behind me but it's not by category or anything. It's making me absolutely crazy. <laughs> so I need to organize that and get it all under control and then I'll definitely find the second one of this. This is the shade I've never as well. It is perfect, you guys. Like a pinky, like brown. It's so nice. This is like my lips, but better and a little bit deeper. <laughs> In that video, I'm not going to go on too much about it, but I did talk about how the packaging was just so unique and so different. I love that it's gold. It's weighty. It feels luxurious. It is a luxurious price tag, but nothing like Tom Ford or anything like that. But I feel like you get your money's worth with this because it is a gorgeous lipstick. It's recyclable as well, which I love. So what you can do is you can take the lipstick portion like out of this and get just like a refill of just a shade that you want. So you don't have to buy like this gold package every single time. So I feel like they're like environmentally cautious with this too. Definitely check these out if you're interested. If you have any preferences in lip products like me, if, like if you feel like we're similar, I think that all of these would just be amazing choices for you. I feel like Hourglass also has quite a range with these confession lipsticks as well. So these are definitely something to check out. Anyways guys, that is it for my top 10 lip products of 2018. It took a lot of hemming and hawing to figure out what lip products were gonna make my top 10, but I think these are some of the best. Of course, let me know down below, is there any lip product that I should be checking out that you guys definitely recommend? I would love to know. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to see you guys back here. And until my next one, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.
But somewhere there's a light inside of us It shows the way